Food for Thought today, a Knoxville restaurant scores a low grade. In fact, it's a failing score. Here's Don Dare and Food for Thought. The failing health inspection score this week is recorded in Knoxville. At restaurants, inspectors pay close attention to risk factors that could potentially lead to foodborne illness if not corrected. The grade is a 68 at Finn's Restaurant, 9000 Kingston Pike. That's a failing score. A grade below 70 is considered unsanitary by the health department. Several critical violations include improper supervision, improper temperatures, and storage of chemicals. When the inspector asked the person in charge at Finn's restaurant some questions about health rules, the manager couldn't answer them. But restaurant managers are required to know the regulations and pass them on to employees. Food temperatures were off. In the walk-in cooler, salmon was at 50 degrees. That's too warm. 41 and below is the safe, cool temperature to kill bacteria growth. There's more. The wash and rinse temperature of water in the dishwasher wasn't hot enough. 120 degrees is required, but it thins the water to wash and rinse dishes didn't reach that temperature. Also, an employee medication was found over food preparation table may not sound like a big deal, but medication is supposed to be stored separately. Well, the inspector has returned to Finns to check up on the critical violations. They've been corrected, and the original grade of 68 is now an 88. There are quite a few restaurants around East Tennessee with some high scores, and here are the best grades of the week. The Taco Bell in Knoxville on Walbrook Drive, 100. Salsaritas on Broadway in Knoxville is perfect. So is the Salsaritas on Louisville Road in Alcoa. In Jefferson City, Zaxby's on Broadway Boulevard, 100. The Taco Bell in Athens scores 100. In Townsend, Miss Lily's Cafe is also perfect. In Knoxville, the Olive Garden receives a 99, same grade, 99, for Michael's family. You can do that, and we've made it easy. They're all under the As Seen On section of WATE.com.